Apple is, simply put, a giant in the phone making business. The technology company has ruled the mobile phone industry for some time now and doesn't seem to be backing down. But now, it seems Apple is looking to diversify into another business that looks very different from the ones that we're used to. And what's that business? The business of making cars. The Origin The idea of an Apple car isn't new to Apple. The idea is older than the first iPhone. Before the first iPhone was launched, executives at the company met to discuss the development of an Apple car. Steve Jobs even met with the manufacturer of lightweight, inexpensive V vehicles in 2008. However, it's said that the company ultimately resolved on launching the iPhone and perfecting it first before getting into the automobile industry. However, now that it looks like the iPhone has been a roaring success, Apple has gotten back to its plans concerning an Apple car. Well, Apple isn't just getting back to those plans right now. They got back to it in 2014, after launching the extremely successful iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. The Titan In 2014, Apple initiated what it called Project Titan. Project Titan involved about a thousand employees working on developing an electric vehicle at a secret location near its Cupertino headquarters. The project was approved by Tim Cook later that year, and it was assigned to Vice President Steve Zadesky, the former Ford engineer, as project in charge. It seems that Apple also hired Johan Jungwith, the former Vice President and Chief Executive of Mercedes-Benz Research and Development North America, as well as at least one transmission engineer to work on the project as well. But those weren't the only people Apple hired. According to many sources, at the beginning of 2015, Apple had upwards of a thousand people working on the project. In 2015, there were reports that Apple was hiring, providing incentives for Tesla employees to join them, which sounds like a pretty villainous thing to do. If this sounds slightly like the origin story of a comic book villain, well, the answer is it may as well be the origin story of a comic book villain that manages to destroy Tesla. In February of 2015, the Wall Street Journal reported that the product would look a lot like a minivan, rather than an actual car. At the time, the paper believed that the production could start around 2020. Of course, the paper was wrong, as production has not yet started, but since Apple was still in development phase, such things are to be expected. By 2016, even Elon Musk, Apple's direct competitor, already knew about the plans for the Apple car. In confirming the rumors, he said it's pretty difficult for Apple to hide something when it's hired a thousand engineers to build it. Later in 2016, the company convinced retired senior hardware engineer executive Bob Mansfield to return and take over the Titan project. A few days later, there were reports that Apple had hired Dan Dodge, the founder and former chief executive officer of QNX BlackBerry Limited Automotive Software Division. What all these hirings and firings meant was that Apple was sparing no expense in making sure what they developed was top of the line. However, there was one problem afflicting the entire effort. No one knew what Project Titan was supposed to be. Some of the people leading the project wanted it to be a car, and others just wanted it to be something else. That's probably one of the reasons the project wasn't able to get anything tangible over the first few years after its formation. The Shift to Self-Driving Tech In late 2016, reports filtered out that Apple would no longer be building a car. Instead, the company would be focusing on building autonomous technology for self-driving cars. Even that would be pretty huge coming from Apple, but it was certainly less significant than an actual Apple-branded car. After these reports, other reports said Apple was laying off hundreds of workers who'd worked on the original car project. This seemed to confirm the strange pivot that Apple was undertaking in terms of automobile development. Over the next three years, other reports came out that confirmed this pivot. 
It seemed that Apple had given up on the car dream for good and instead would only be working on creating self-driving AI. Again, this was exciting news, but for the most part, it was just exciting news for tech buffs, not regular consumers. The Apple Car is coming. However, in late 2020, reports started to surface again that Apple was indeed working on an actual Apple Car, and that it would be ready for release in three to six years. Specifically, in December 2020, Reuters released a report that said Apple was back on working on an Apple car for consumers, and now we know a little about what will power the car. It appears that Apple will be trying to build a new battery design that has the potential to radically reduce the cost of batteries and increase the vehicle's range. To do this, Apple will be creating a monocell design that will help bulk up the individual battery cells and free up space inside the battery pack by removing pouches and modules that hold battery materials. That way, there will be more active materials in a smaller case. Many people who have seen the schematics of the battery say it will revolutionize things and will be similar to the battery that first came out on the iPhone. Interestingly, reports say that Apple won't be building the car themselves. Instead, they will be partnering with a car manufacturer to build the vehicles. They will also be working with several outside partners for car components like LiDAR sensors, for example. Apple is also rumored to be in early negotiations with well-known automotive electronics suppliers for components for a potential upcoming vehicle-related product. Unfortunately, we don't yet know their names. But since Apple is keeping everything hush, this isn't surprising. Apple also has plans to build a factory in the United States. Reuters believes that there could be an Apple car in production by 2024. That's just three years from now. Just imagine, three years from now, we could see Apple and Tesla battle out in the wild. Wild West of automobile manufacturing. Apple's recruitment. A big part of Project Titan is the recruitment that Apple's been driving. The company is hired from everywhere, attracting high-level engineers from companies like Ford, GM, Concept Systems, and General Dynamics. Of course, the company that Apple has stolen the most from is Apple's future major rival, Tesla. High-profile Apple hires from Tesla include former mechanical engineer David Nelson, former software powertrain test engineer John Ireland, former Tesla head recruiter Lauren Simonera, who may be working to recruit additional employees for the car project, and former Tesla vice president Chris Porritt. Remember when we said this looks like the beginning of a horror story for Tesla? Well, we weren't joking. To make it even worse, former Tesla senior CNC programmer David Masukiewicz joined Apple in April 2016 to work on the product realization lab. His job description probably involved creating prototypes for parts designed for Apple cars. And yeah, one last thing. Apple hired five employees from A123 Systems, a company that produces batteries for electric cars. After the hire, Apple faced a lawsuit over poaching them. We don't think Apple was surprised when they were hit with that one. The Secret Headquarters If Project Titan sounds like the plans of a supervillain, well, you should wait till you see the secret headquarters that all of this is going on in. The secret headquarters of Project Titan is located in Sunnyvale, California. Apple leases several buildings at the Sunnyvale location, and many people believe that the entire project is running out of a shell company called 68 Research On Site. Of course, this isn't official, but because Apple has suddenly been buying up a lot of real estate in the area, we wouldn't be too surprised if we were spot on about this one. That's it guys, if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons, goodbye and remember to stay safe.